doing well uh, in this video I will uh, introduce you free convection heat transfer into the dimension so after selecting to the dimension we select the transfer uh, we can uh, select uh, non isothermal flow laminar flow and add it by selecting uh, non isothermal flow uh, laminar flow for uh, for investigation of uh, fluid flow or uh, or uh, momentum balancing system would be would be added, and the heat transfer uh, to investigate heat transfer in our cavity. This multiphysic uh, coupled uh, these two physics together, so I will click on the study and the stationary. So I have a cavity, the size of cavity is one centimeter width and one centimeter height, it is my cavity. I add water as a fluid in the cavity. So I defined my material and also my geometry I must define uh, momentum uh, boundary conditions in this part so the first step is defining a pressure point constraint and I define it zero Pascal because our system is closed in fact this wall is warm and then this wall and then the water would be warm and the density of water will decrease and it is a kind of uh, circulate movement in in the cavity but uh, but because uh, because we don't have any inlet or outlet so we need to define a pressure point constraint so it is our pressure point constraint so a active gravity because the gravity cause the movement of the light. I right click on temperature. I select this wall and the temperature of this wall is 25 degrees Celsius. And another temperature boundary condition. It is 20 degree Celsius. And then I mesh my model and I click on compute. We can follow the conversion of uh, model. So it is our result, it is the velocity profile. If I draw our surface, I can track the movement of the fluid. This wall is warmer, so the, the density decreases, then the water start to move up, and then cool, cooling down, and the density increases and this kind of circulation movement in the system it is the pressure contours we can change them in field or any other different any other form of uh, coloring and a style it is temperature we can see the effect of uh, effect of free convection and it is isothermal lines contours so it is an important point if we have just uh, just uh, uh, in fact uh, conduction we just have a straight uh, contours not uh, the, like this this 
uh, curvatures in contours uh, uh, shows that we have a convection in our system beside, uh, beside conduction. So if I want to draw temperature and define the Kant line here from so it is my line and I name it I right click on I create one d plot group, I right click on one d plot group and I can select this one it is velocity profile I can right click on it, double duplicate and I can uh, draw temperature and I can change units also so it is velocity and temperature so if I want to, to extract uh, for example average temperature in a specific part I right click on drive value I can select maximum integration or minimum if I s click for example or average and line average and I select for example this line I can evaluate average temperature in middle line so your I can uh, or uh, I can if select one of these lines and evaluate average temperature and also this one it is for uh, average you can select uh, integration maximum or minimum for any lines that you want. Uh, for this uh, part uh, you can for example select average for this safe uh, surface but uh, for 2D, uh, 2D uh, uh, for simulation it is better to use lines because mm, selecting surface as a uh, as uh, something to drive a valuable uh, uh, value is not a good idea I think.